Hi everyone, Farron here. Um, final update on my for the Love of Freddy group build um, Tomcat here. Um, very nice kit by um, Hobby Boss. Uh, lots of details, especially in the cockpit and the wheel, front wheel well. Um, ordnance, so much ordnance you get with this. I haven't even got. I've got was it four Phoenix missiles on here. Two GB12s and two sidewinders and two drop tanks. And, um, and what a lovely kit it was as well. I mean, it's a bit hairy, well, I'm sorry, dusty in places where it's been on the shelf. But um, I will get the picture sent off to you, Martin. Um, I did uh, send you an email today, which is the 24th of August. Um, if you get that video, I'm oh, sorry, that email today, brilliant. Uh, ju it's just a uh, explain why I've been a bit tardy on the group bill but um, yeah this is um, how she looks at the moment I'm just going to take the canopy off and flip it over and just show you the um, so there's all the ordnance all the stripes are all deckled Everything's deckled on the ordnance, and the 148 in jets is a great scale to work in. Um, I used the ultimate, um, was it ultimate wash on the wings and on the top. It's an okay product. It's not fantastic. It's okay. So UMP, you don't get a thumbs up from me. You just get a yeah, you're okay. Sand and sticks are fine, but your wash is a little to be desired. But anyway, I'm just going to pop this back on the display shelf. And now we're going to go over to um, miniatures. Now the miniatures that I've been uh, painting is from the Age of Sigma. Uh, first of all, uh, I've got these three guys down here. Let's just put a nice little white background. Now these ones, um, this one was hand painted trying to utilize uh, a non-metallic metal but failed miserably. It just looks yellow with shading on it. Okay and then I thought let's try and do it with the airbrush and see what kind of um, got a better result with the airbrush on the relictor here. Really nice um, detail on that scriptures on the back. And then the other guy with the um, hammer, I painted it with um, filet gold, uh, model air gold. And just uh, for the highlights, I used um, silver mixed in with the gold just to give me a better um, look on the. Uh, Highlight for the gold. Yeah, let's take it back a bit. There you go. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Um, but in between that time, I've been uh, summer holidays looking after the kids and uh, been generally rushed off my feet. That's why I haven't been able to put up any um, videos for the last month or two. Also, um, the other thing is, is um, the computer. I mean, my daughter's always on it, so um, in the end, I, I bought myself one. So I've got myself a second-hand Dell computer and it works a dream, it's a gaming PC, so it's got quad-core processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, a terabyte hard drive, a 2 gig graphics card and a 1.3 gig bus on the motherboard. So it does everything I need it to do. So um, I've got um, a good sniper game to play, um, Sniper Art of Victory. I think I've had a quick go on it. You know, a Russian sniper taking out uh, Nazis in World War II, so that's a really good game. And um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so um, hopefully I'll be back to normal on the uh, update front. Sorry you, if you guys if you've uh, missed my content on the channel. It's just what has been happening over the past. Uh, couple of months of my life with my separation of everything it has turned very nasty and I've been having to uh, deal with that but um, I'm not letting it get to me or get me down 
So uh, anyway, I'll be uh, back in full swing. Um, you know, from September onwards, I want to really uh, get all this done because I'm going to show you my shelf of shame. There you go. I've got all that whole box set of Sigma to do, and I've also got another one of those. I've got another one of those coming in through the post because I want to. I want to convert one of them. So yeah. Here's me saying hello to you. And disappearing again. <laughs> new chair. Yep. Bring on a nice new leather chair from Aldi's, ninety-nine pound. Bargain. And um ah. and other things um, I have to get for my mentions was I got the uh game colour paint range and just love them. They just go down so well with the airbrush and they go down brilliantly with the brush. Um, the paint stands are from s &M stuff, same as the paint, and uh, it's the MIG Ammo um, paint rack and they hold 60 paints. Flat pack paint rack has to be glued, um, hot, but for £18, I thought brilliant. And they're made by um, who they made by Hobby Zone for ammo, so uh, there you go. They're uh, a bit cheaper than the actual Hobby Zone ones because the Hobby Zone ones are like pff, mega bucks for what they are. But that, there you go, and you get all your um, colours there. As you can see, I've got them all in the OCD anal retentive colour order. Now my desk is a bit cluttered at the moment, as you can see. Mug of tea, need to clean up water bits tray everything brushes also i got you guys should know right if you want um kalinsky sable brushes i got this from snm stuff this is zero red sable kalinsky um obviously they get these from creative models but if you go to snm stuff's website this zero kalinsky brush is two pound fifty five I thought that's an absolute bargain, so I thought, right, I'll get myself a 10 0 as well. So, you can see the two or three hairs on that one there, which is really cool. So, I bought those in there, same price, £2.55, worth every penny. Um, and then the other day, I was in the works, um, got these synthetic brushes here. They do, they're nice and rigid, so they're good for blending. But when you started painting with them, I found that the tips started to curl. Um, so that's obviously cheap materials. But two brushes for three quid from the works with a, with a, whoops, with a soft grip. I couldn't fault it really, to be honest. And I discovered another new product, um, a new brush soap by a uh, company called Broken Toad. This is fantastic. It's completely fragrance free. It's got conditioner. It's vegetable based and it is just fantastic. It just revitalizes all your brushes to good health again. And um, it's good stuff. Can't fault it. It's, um, excuse the camera shake. With the lid off, and you've got like another inner lid there, but yeah, it's like a just a soap, it's odorless, so yeah, your workshop won't smell perfumey <laughs> every time you use it. Um, but anyway, next model I'm going to be painting is uh, one of these, and in between, I'm going to be doing the Focke Wolf 190 F8 from Ravel. Um, the main construction is built, it just needs to be primed. But uh, this guy though, I'm going to be priming him today, cleaning up some more of the mold lines that I found, and generally just get that tidy. Anyway, I think I've waffled on for what, yeah, you know, for 10 minutes now, so I'm going to leave you guys to it. Um, I am back now, and I'm going to be doing a lot more miniature modelling, and also I'm going to be doing my scale models as well. But please um, like, comment, and subscribe and uh, there's going to be a lot more content coming alright and uh, again I apologise for my absence and for the lack of content 
is that when real life comes into play it's got to be dealt with okay thanks everyone see you again take care